Senator Klein. Mr. President, more than about any other health policy innovation, taxation of tac tobacco and nicotine products has proven to be a dually effective approach with de which decreases tobacco usage in direct proportion to the increased tax and produces revenues which can be applied to counter the health costs of tobacco use. This is particularly the case with youth tobacco use where financial barriers constructed by tobacco taxes directly decrease youth tobacco use. Endlessly innovative, the tobacco and nicotine industry has developed a new delivery system to engender addiction among a new generation of young people. Statistics can be numbing, so I will keep them brief, but if you are of the impression, Senators, that youth vaping is rapidly rising, that the social barriers to smoking, which we have erected, have collapsed for this new and highly addictive delivery device, there are numbers which support your impressions. Almost 40% of high school students have tried e-cigarettes, which come in kid-friendly flavors like gummy bear and cotton candy. Nearly one in five high school students reported using e-cigarettes in the last month, a nearly 50% surge in high school use since 2014. 88% of high school and middle school students report that they have seen advertisements promoting e-cigarettes. And in terms of young adults in Minnesota, 22% of young adults aged 20, 18 to 24 are using e-cigarettes. And 44% of current e-cigarette users are people who have never smoked before. Mr. President, the A18 Amendment proposes to place a $2 surcharge on the retail price of each closed system cartridge or pod sold in Minnesota. These devices go to the heart of the youth vaping epidemic, and a higher unit price for each one will have an immediate and significant impact on youth nicotine use. It will improve addiction rates and health outcomes. Thank you, Mr. President.